Introduction Simran, I have lost some of my comics. I remember that I have given two of my comics to you. Two? No, Rina. I have only one-fifth of the ten comics you had. Who is speaking the truth? Rina or Simran? What is one-fifth of ten? Is one-fifth of ten greater than two, lesser than two, or equal to two? Come, let us seek the answers of such questions in the lesson Fractions. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Identify the three types of fractions, proper, improper, and mixed fractions. Add and subtract fractions. Multiply and divide a fraction with a whole number and with another fraction. Solve the word problems based on fractions. Proper, improper, and mixed fractions. We know that fraction is a number representing a part of a whole. Fractions are of three types. Proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed fraction. In a proper fraction, the numerator is less than the denominator. For example, three-fourths, two-fifths, seven-ninths are the proper fractions. In an improper fraction, the numerator is greater than the denominator. Five-fourths, nine-sevenths, eleven-fifths are few examples of improper fraction. The improper fractions can be written as a combination of whole and a proper fraction. Thus, these improper fractions can be written as one and one-fourths, one and two-sevenths, and two and one-fifths, respectively. Such fractions are called mixed fractions. Addition of fractions. There are three simple steps to add or subtract fractions. First, make the denominators same if they're not. Add or subtract the numerators and put the answer over the denominator. Simplify the fractions if needed. Let us understand it with the help of few examples. Sonia studies mathematics for one and one-fourth hours daily, while she studies all other subjects for two and one-third hours. How much time in total Sonia spends in studies? Total time spent by Sonia is equal to one and one-fourth hours plus two and one-third hours. This is equal to five-fourths plus seven-thirds. Since the denominator is not same, we will take LCM of it. The LCM of four and three is twelve. Therefore, five into three upon four into three plus seven into four upon three into four gives fifteen upon twelve plus twenty-eight upon twelve. This gives forty-three upon twelve. On simplifying this fraction, we get three and seven twelfths. Subtraction of fractions. Rohan ate three-fourths of a pizza and the remaining pizza was eaten by his sister Rita. How much part of the pizza did Rita eat? Who had the larger share and by how much? Look at the figure. It shows that Rita has eaten one-fourth of the pizza. Comparing three-fourths and one-fourth, we find that three-fourths is greater than one-fourths. Thus, Rohan has larger share of pizza than Rita. On subtracting one-fourth from three-fourths, we get half. Thus, Rohan ate half of the pizza more than his sister. Multiplication of fractions Look at the picture. All the squares have shaded part. Each shaded part is one-fourth part of a square. How much will the six shaded parts represent together? We can solve this by adding all the parts. This can also be solved by multiplying the numbers of shaded parts with each shaded part. Let us discuss the multiplication of fractions with the help of few examples. Multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. Look at these hexagons and find out the total red-colored part. Two-sixths of each hexagon is red-colored. Thus, in total, we have ten-sixths part red-colored. We can also find this by multiplying five with two-sixths. 
Thus, to multiply a whole number with a proper or improper fraction, we multiply the whole number with the numerator of the fractions, keeping the denominator same. But how will you multiply a mixed fraction by a whole number? In such cases, we first convert mixed fraction to an improper fraction and then carry out the multiplication. Multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. Rina has ten comics. Her friend, Simran, borrowed one-fifth of the comics from her. How many comics does Simran have? Friends, remember off means multiplication? Thus, Simran has one-fifth of ten comics, which means one upon five multiplied by ten, which is equal to two. This means Simran has two comics. Multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. Let us now learn how to find the product of two fractions like one-fourth of a half. The shaded portion in the figure represents half of the whole part. Taking out this part and dividing it into four equal parts, we get a figure in which each part represents one-fourth of a half. One-fourth of a half means one upon four multiplied by one upon two. This is equal to one-eighth. We multiply two fractions as product of numerators upon products of denominators. Multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. Ryan practices calligraphy every day. Each day he writes one-third page. How many pages does he write in two and three-fourths days? The part of page written by Ryan in one day is equal to one-third. So the part of page written by Ryan in two and three-fourths days is equal to one-third multiplied by two and three-fourths. This is equal to one upon three multiplied by eleven upon four, which is eleven upon twelve. Thus Ryan writes eleven twelfths pages in two and three-fourths days. Division of whole number by a fraction. How division of a whole number by a fraction is performed? Come, let us find out. Let us take the example of one divided by half. We divide a whole into a number of equal parts such that each part is half of the whole. Thus we will get two half parts. So we can say that one divided by half is two, but one multiplied by two is also two. Thus one divided by half is equal to one multiplied by two upon one. Two upon one is reciprocal of one upon two. Division of a fraction by a whole number. Let us practice a problem now. If a color paper of length 10 centimeters is divided into smaller strips of length 2 fifths centimeter each, how many such strips do we get? The reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 upon 2. So 10 divided by 2 upon 5 is equal to 10 multiplied by 5 upon 2. This gives 50 upon 2. Simplifying the fraction, we get 25. Thus, to divide a whole number by any fraction, multiply that whole number by the reciprocal of that fraction. What will be 1 and 3 fifths divide by 7? Let us first make the mixed fraction an improper fraction. We get 8 upon 5 divided by 7. This is equal to 8 upon 5 multiplied by 1 upon 7, since 1 upon 7 is reciprocal of 7. This gives 8 upon 35 as the answer. Division of a fraction by another fraction. Friends, can you find half divided by 2 third now? The reciprocal of 2 third is 3 upon 2. Thus, half divided by 2 third is equal to half multiplied by 3 upon 2. This is equal to 3 fourth. Remember, the division sign changes to multiplication sign as soon as the number on right side of the right sign is replaced by its reciprocal. Here the number of the left side remains unchanged. Self-assessment. Drag the fractions from the option box and drop them into the correct blank boxes. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. Fractions are of three types. Proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed fraction. In a proper fraction, the numerator is less than the denominator. 
the fractions where the numerator is greater than the denominator are called improper fractions. An improper fractions can be written as a combination of a whole and a part and such fraction then called mixed fractions. In addition or subtraction of two fractions, the denominator is first made same followed by addition or subtraction of numerators. The product of two fractions is the product of numerators divided by the product of denominators. The division of a fraction by another fraction is carried out by multiplying the first fraction by the reciprocal of the other.